hello guys welcome to my third video on uh, c programming uh, now we are going to look at a uh, uh, nested for loop a uh, loop within a loop is known as nested loop and uh, for loop within a for loop is known as uh, nested for loop so let's get started so here there are uh, two normal for loops uh, so this is going to here I have uh, initialized the uh, start value to 0 so it will loop from 0 and loop up to 3 uh, 3 times and this statement is going to be printed right yeah so this is the normal loop so here is an another loop uh, this is almost the same but instead of uh, i I have placed here the j uh, um, j variable that's it so what we are going to do is uh, let's take up this for loop and uh, co combine with this for loop so which becomes nested for loop so here it is take this out take the command and instead of this okay let's do it So now uh, I have uh, uh, cut and pasted this uh, for loop from outside to inside. So now we'll take a look at uh, what's going to happen. So yeah. So now uh, when the outer loop is executed for the first time, it's going to print out the outer loop for the one for one time, and it's going to hit this one. So once it hit this for loop, it uh, it going to execute the number of times specified here. Here, uh, okay, let me. Uh, here I have specified a, so it's going to execute for three times. Now if I specify it as two, it's going to execute for, execute for two times. So now take a look at this. Uh, when it is executed for the first time, it's going to execute this uh, print the print out this uh, outer loop statement, and then once it hit this inner loop, it's going to execute for uh, two times. As because uh, the test condition has been set to execute for two times, so once it hit, it's going to execute this execute this uh, inner loop for two times. So we got that uh, inner loop for two times, and then uh, it goes to the for loop again. So uh, when it comes here, the i value is a uh, is a uh, two, and uh, when it is uh, looked for the second time, we are going to get uh, the same outer loop here. So uh, and and then once it hit uh, this inner loop, uh, again it going to loop for two times. So we get this inner loop uh, output here for two times, and for the third time, the final time it loops, the final outer loop is uh, displayed and the inner loop is uh, executed for two times so uh, this is the normal method of combining uh, two for loops which is independent uh, of each other so this uh, uh, thi this runs independent from outer loop so now we are going to make them dependent on each other so let's do it so now instead of uh, this zero we are going to uh, start this inner loop to start from uh, the value of i so now see what happens ok now the uh, as like the last time uh, it going to print out the outer loop for the first time and then it's going to hit this when it hit this the value of i is uh, 0 so 0 is uh, less than 2 so 0 1 2 it going to 0 1 uh, it going to execute for two times you can look at that and when it loops for the second time the value of uh, 0 becomes 1 uh, 1 and uh, here when it comes j is equal to 1 j up to 2 so j up to 2 and the comments is values from 1 which uh, prints the statement for one time as because the j is equal to i the i value is 1 1 less than 2 becomes uh, 1 uh, so the inner loop uh, is executed for one time so when it is executed for the final third time the value of i becomes 3 3 is greater than 2 so the loop is terminated out and we uh, didn't get any any of the inner loop so uh, 
this is a uh, is the way of uh, assigning um, making dependent of uh, i value to j there is uh, one more thing so if you place plus 1 if you place plus 1 over here now see what happens yeah. for the first time it executes the same result outer loop and uh, when uh, once it hit here hit this uh, j loop Mm, the value of uh, i is uh, 0 for the first time and add 1 to it which becomes 1 so up to 2 which loops then a loop for one time and when it goes for the second time uh, uh, it is going to be looped uh, th this outer loop we got that and then when it comes to the j loop the value of i becomes 2 so 2 is equal to 2 uh, which is not less than 2 so we doesn't get any of the inner loops and then when it commences for the third time we get the outer loop only yes because in the second uh, condition itself the inner loop uh, evaluates to false and we d doesn't get any output so here instead of 2 let make this as 0 and make the value of 2 to i now now look take a look at that so it is executed for the first time and the j commences from a 0 whereas its a test uh, condition is i the value of i is 0 so 0 is equal to 0 for the first time itself that this condition evaluates to false and we doesn't get any of the output when it is looped for the second time the value of i becomes 1 so uh, j is equal to commences from a j loop commences from 0 and up to i which becomes 1 so we get the loop inner loop for the first time in the second uh, condition of uh, outer loop uh, and it is uh, and uh, when it is looped for the third time we get the loop for two times as yes, because the value of uh, i becomes 3 uh, so it commences from 0 and loops up to 3 which causes the loop to loop for uh, two times so these are the different methods of uh, making uh, the outer loop and the inner loop dependent so just go through these concepts because we are going to deal with uh, lots and lots of uh, for loops actually this is a, a loop within a loop but in the upcoming tutorials we are going to deal with uh, uh, two uh, more inner loops so be sure with these guys i hope uh, you have understood uh, yes, i hope you could understand this so thank you for watching see you guys in next video